You driving? Some plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a plan B. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. Congratulations, Nathan, on your selection. Uh, must have been great news today. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. It was uh, extremely good to uh, get that phone call from Rod Marsh. So uh, exciting times and really looking forward to joining the squad up in Brizzy before we head over to uh, Zimbabwe. You played some great one-day cricket with New South Wales last year. Uh, had some really good performances there. Do you think that's been uh, noted by the selectors? Uh, yeah, hopefully. But uh, I've been, I'm confident in my own skills to uh, get the job done no matter what the circumstances are for uh, Australia and New South Wales. So uh, looking forward to the opportunity and uh, I'm going to have to take this chance with both hands and uh, move, move forward and hopefully put my hand up for the World Cup selection later, later on down the track. Now you, you sort of bowled in different situations last year in New South Wales, opened the bowling a few times. Is that something you, you enjoy doing, taking the new ball if it's given to you? Uh, yeah, definitely, especially in one day cricket. Uh, you've got limitations with the, with the field uh, restrictions and etc. So uh, it's a great challenge and that's what I love about playing cricket, and especially at the highest level you get the challenges of uh, bowling to the best batters in the world in, in different, different uh, scenarios. So uh, if I get that opportunity, I'll definitely take with both hands. While you were not in the one-day side, did the selectors ask you to work on anything in particular or do you feel as though you've improved anything in particular with your bowling last couple of years? Uh, yeah, I definitely feel that I've got uh, better and better and that, that's, that's my main goal. If I keep going out in the training field and trying to get better and better, that's, uh, that's one thing for me. So uh, I definitely w uh, have felt like I've uh, been more consistent with my bowling and uh, there's a couple of new different variations that I've been working on which I'm quite happy with uh, leading into the, this series. And it's a big summer to be coming back into the one day side with, with all the various series that are going on, culminating obviously with the World Cup. So it's definitely a good time to be involved again. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have this first opportunity to put my hand up for selection for the World Cup in uh, February, I think it is. So uh, I'm going to have to take this opportunity with both hands and uh, really put some really good performances on for uh, Australia and hopefully win, win all the games that we uh, play in. What experience have you, have you had, if any, of, of bowling in Zimbabwe? Yeah, my first uh, Australian Ray trip was uh, over there to uh, Zimbabwe, so I've uh, got fond memories of going over there. We, I went over there with the One Day Squad and uh, went quite well over there and felt like that we uh, played some really good cricket over there. So it's a great place to play, it's a great great place to tour as, as well. We, I really enjoyed it, so really looking forward to uh, heading back over there. And where would you, what sort of wickets did you encounter over there? What would you compare them to? Uh, they had a little bit of spin, a little bit of bounce, so it's uh, pretty exciting, really. But uh, they're pretty similar to South Africa, but probably a tad slower. But it's going to be great cricket over there, especially with South Africa and uh, Zimbabwe. So, just really looking forward to this opportunity, and it's no doubt it'll be a great challenge for the Australian cricket team. Okay, congratulations, mate. Well done on your selection, and all the best for the trip. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>